Welcome to day number two of Learn Fusion 360 in 30 days. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to 3D model a beer bottle. You'll learn how to insert a reference image, create a spline, use the revolve feature, and add the appearance of glass. To start off, let's create a new folder within our Learn Fusion 360 in 30 days folder and label it day number two hyphen beer bottle. We can also create a folder day number one hyphen Lego and select the corresponding files, right click and hit move. Now to move files around, all you have to do is select which folder they should be moved to. Now back within the day number two folder, let's create a new tab and hit the save icon. And then we'll title this beer bottle. Now in 3D modeling, sometimes a reference image can help you reverse engineer a real product by making it easier to draw or trace certain shapes. We'll insert the beer bottle reference image by going to Insert, Attach Canvas, and then select the front plane. Then select our image. You'll notice in the Attach Canvas dialog box that we can change the opacity, flip the image, and scale the image. To make it simpler for us, we'll want to trace the image true to size. So let's make the image approximately 9 inches tall by going to Canvases, right clicking on the image title, and select Calibrate. Now we'll be able to select the top and the bottom corners of the image, which will prompt us to enter the dimension. To start off the beer bottle sketch, I'll just draw a straight line down the middle by calling line with the keyboard shortcut letter L. Now we're only going to draw half the bottle because the revolve feature, which we'll use in a bit, will create the other half. Now we'll use the point feature to lay the groundwork for the spline tool. To do this, we'll select points from the sketch menu and we'll add points at the height of each curve on the bottle. Now one thing to note is the reference image I've used is at a slight perspective because the top and the bottom of the beer bottle are not flat. So to ensure that my bottle is flat, I'll first draw in some straight lines for the top, for the bottom, and for the sides. Then we'll use the spline sketch feature located under the sketch drop down menu, which allows us to draw a continuous curve through the points we set. Once we draw our spline through all of the points, we'll be able to readjust the points by clicking on them and then drag the lines around. We can also click and drag the points around to readjust everything until we're happy with the overall shape. If you need to add more points to a spline, you can right click on the spline and use insert spline fit point. Now before we turn the sketch into a three dimensional beer bottle, we'll use the offset feature to create the thickness of the glass. I'll hit letter O, the keyboard shortcut for offset, and then I'll offset the sketch 0.1 inches. Because we don't want an inner wall in the beer bottle, We'll need to delete this middle line by clicking the delete key on our keyboard after selecting it and simply drag over the bottom line connecting it to our center axis.
At the top of the bottle, we'll draw a vertical line, ensuring that the head of our beer bottle has an opening. Now we can finally use the revolve feature that revolves a sketch around a specified axis. The revolve feature is an efficient way to create three-dimensional objects that are symmetrical. You'll find the revolve feature under the Create menu. The first thing I'll do is select the sketch, and then I'll click on the axis in the Revolve dialog box, and then I'll click on our center line. You'll also notice in the Revolve dialog box, you can change the degrees to which the sketch is revolved. So of course, for this object, we'll want to make sure it's set to 360 degrees. Finally, the last thing to do in order to make our beer bottle look a bit more realistic, we'll add an appearance of glass. To do this, simply right click on the object and click Appearance. Then I'll find the glass folder and drag and drop the glass appearance onto the bottle. I'll also go ahead and hide the reference image by clicking the light bulb icon. And there you have it, you've successfully 3D modeled a beer bottle in Fusion 360. I'll see you in the next lesson where I'll show you how to model a paperclip using the sweep feature.